Hello, welcome back. Right, this is another unboxing to follow on from yesterday's unboxing of the Plus 2 Action Pack, which um, I was really happy to receive from Dale Maxwell. This is from Mark Edwards. This time I'm not going to cheat and open it first before the video because I want you all to see what it is. I know what it is. Um, it arrived in uh, really well packaged, as you can see, and um, very, very promptly. So thank you ever so much, Mark Edwards. You're a star. Right, so let's see what we got here. World's crappiest knife. Uh, I've recruited uh, daughter number two for camera work on this one. As um, I think my wife is uh, going to be that interested in being a part of this. So, right, okay. Let's see what's in the box. There is, of course, as you can see from the title, going to be a fun little competition thing at the end. And there is going to be a giveaway. It sadly is not going to include the contents of this box. But it is fun, and I'll explain what that is as and when I get to it. Let's see what we've got here first. Really, really well packaged. Uh, oh, knife the wrong way around. Wow. Come on, come on, come on. I'm eager. I want to get in. Let me in. Bit of brute force, I think. <coughs> oh, okay. It's bubble wrapped. I'm so excited, and I just can't hide it. Oh, oh, oh. wow! We've got so much bubble wrap for you to play with, girls. There we go. Thank you ever so much, Mark. I did have a boxed spectrum that I had to get rid of um, last year. I had to sell because of an emergency, and I've always wanted to get one back in to my collection. I'm very, very chuffed at having this. So let's have a look what it's like. The box is in good condition. The uh, operating instructions on the back there. Let's see what we've got inside. I love this bit. I love this bit. Oh. There we go. The polystyrene box is in very good condition. So, drum roll. Here we are. I will, of course, do separate videos powering both this and um, the other one up. Um, I'm assured that it works fine. Uh, everything is very, very, very nice. The lettering on the top's a bit faded, but the keys feel really, really good. It's nice and cold in this wi winter weather. Very nice cold feel. Always love the Spectrum keyboard. We have the Spectrum manual. Teach you how to um, learn basic programming, etc. But to me, that may as well be written in Swedish. I've never been able to understand stuff like that. Uh, oh. Du, du, du. This was bought for £125 on the 29th of December 1982. Wow! From WH Smiths. My dad bought ours um, when we had it as a kid from Debenhams. I've got Horizons tape. Yes! Can play through the wall. We have the here in uh, Mike Leeds. Absolutely f great there. I can link my phone up to that. I don't have a tape recorder, um, but I can load stuff through um, MP3 off my phone. And we have, of course, the PSU. All in really, really good condition. I'm well made up. Um, it gave me a really good price on it as well. I was really, really happy to pay it. Um, and like I say, I'm glad I've got the Spectrum, the rubber key, the actual Spectrum, back into my collection. Right, let's talk about this silly little competition and giveaway. Now, this all stemmed from a conversation with um, Andy Green, who, as you know, um, does loading screens for games that um, didn't have them, and he's done some fantastic ones. I did a video 
a while back detailing some of them. He kindly created one for Andrew Dansby's um, Legend of Zelda Quest for the Golden Apple. He's done loading screens for other people. And just out of fun, when he posted a load of these pictures up, I said to him, Oh, Andy, those are going to look great on a T-shirt or a mug. Thinking he'll go, oh, that's a really great idea. I'll do that. And he went, great idea, Baz. I'll have a T-shirt with a Zoom logo on. So he flipped it back on me. So I thought, oh, well, just for a laugh. So I've gone and ordered um, one for him, one for me. And we agreed we could have one as a giveaway. And here it is. He said the Zoom logo, so he's got one with the Zoom logo. This is a large t-shirt, you don't want the one I've got, it's uh, <coughs> 3XL, and um, <clears throat> yeah. And there's also, gonna go with it, why not have a copy of the game as well, even if you've got 500 copies of Zoom, have an, another one. All you have to do is in the comment section of this video, post the funniest joke that you can think of make sure it's not rude well it can be rude but make sure it's not <laughs> offensive or anything like that and what's today 6th of february so a week today it's half past seven at night at half past seven at night the competition will close and whoever andy votes as um uh supplying the, the uh, funniest joke will win this little package i will cover the postage and uh, packaging etc unless you live somewhere really daft like Ulan Bator or on Saturn or something like that um, but I'd be happy to cover that that's just a, a fun little giveaway and he's done an awful lot uh, for the scene lots of people appreciate his work he's not the only one of course um, so perhaps David Sapphire for his soundtracks we could get him a pair of musical socks or something like that that play the the theme from Monty Mole and the Temple of Lost Souls etc or Yakety Sax that he did for uh, the uh, Benny Hill game, um, loads of other people. It's not just exclusive to um, Andy. He's not the only one that's been um, doing tons and tons of really great work for the scene. But he's one that I've been in uh, contact with quite a bit recently. We we both thought this would be a, a fun little idea. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you like the video. If you do like it, please let me know. If you wish to subscribe, please do so. If you are going to subscribe, please make sure you take the time to join in with the discussions, etc. And please, please, please enter the competition and make sure you check that someone else in the comments hasn't already submitted your joke because only the top entry will win if we get and we don't want my dog's got no nose 500 times please thank you very much take care goodbye